The weather guy. Yeah. What's going on in the weather? I will make it rain <laughs> and I will make it rain in just a couple spots. We got a few uh, little areas you can see East Liverpool, Ohio crossing over into Beaver County. We have that little spotty area of rain also coming out of Stratton. That's going to be moving into southern Beaver County. So a couple little uh, showers. Cranberry has seen quite a bit today and this might try to brush you as well, but uh, just north of Beaver, a little speckle of rain there as well. Now you get towards New Alexandria, up towards Tunnelton. This is uh, just north of Greensburg, which is in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. We get some heavier rain here. Not a lot of lightning with this uh, just yet. Cranberry's been hit pretty hard. They've seen over two-thirds of an inch of rain by radar estimates in the Cranberry area, almost a half an inch, a third as you get out towards Adams Township and Mars. So uh, a pretty significant amount of rain in just a short amount of time. And you can see through the course of this afternoon, those storms just sort of stuck in place and uh, rained really good there. And everywhere else, it's just these smaller scale ones that haven't been lasting too long. A little activity south of Cleveland as well, but you can see that's sort of drifting up to the north. So that's not a concern for us, but there are a few south of Columbus that might try to drift our way. So just uh, these little isolated showers and thunderstorms around for this evening. And then tonight, once the sun goes down, we're going to lose the heat of the day. But you can just see it sort of looks muggy as we look off the top of Gateway Center. Partly cloudy skies, 87 degrees. Our dew points in the mid 60s, so it is humid outside. Winds out of the west at 8 miles per hour. And you can see around our temperatures generally in the mid to even upper 80s. This is the actual temperature. 88 Waynesburg and Morgantown. You get the mid 80s, Ford City, Latrobe, Connellsville, Indiana. Then you factor in the humidity and you get what it feels like because your body can't evaporate moisture as efficiently when it's muggy outside. It feels like 88 degrees because your body can't cool itself for Pittsburgh. 91 for Washington and Waynesburg and 92 is what it feels like in Newcastle right now. So very warm, if not hot, and very muggy conditions. We've had a few of those storms around. Those will hopefully be finishing up soon as we go through the next couple of hours. Then we have the warm and muggy air sticking around for the start of the weekend. But watch this cold front. It's deciding to take a little further trek south. So this weekend, while we get into tomorrow afternoon, we'll see some showers and thunderstorms develop as a result of it. We're also going to see it pass just far enough south where we're going to get a little relief from it. So the humidity levels will go down. It's still going to be warm, but not quite as warm as it's been. It doesn't last too long, though, because this will be around for Sunday. You'll feel those humidity levels dropping, and then the warm air and humidity come right back with the next warm front for early next week. So we kind of rewind that back into the muggy conditions for Monday. Now, there is a small chance that one or two of these storms could become strong to severe as we get into the afternoon tomorrow, so pay close attention to how things are developing. So a few thunderstorms around tonight, then we're going to clear it out. 69 degrees and close to 90 tomorrow. Warm thunderstorms developing in the afternoon, and you can see once we get past lunchtime, that's where things get pretty unsettled. Now, through the weekend, it's not going to be a complete washout. We might see a spotty shower left over early Sunday, but the general trend for Sunday is temperatures or I should say uh, humidity levels uh, dropping temperatures drop a little bit and then the sky's clearing out next week though we bounce right back into that unsettled warm muggy weather and that includes the 4th of July and you can track these storms anytime you want with the KDK weather app it's available for free in the App Store and Google Play it has an interactive radar hour by hour forecasts alerts and a whole lot more this will come in handy especially tomorrow afternoon to search CBS Pittsburgh